Hello and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. This is Bullet Tuber, with part 9 of the series, How to Create a City in Blender 2.8. Today, I am going to show you how to use Displace Modifier to create a realistic height map of the exact city. So, let's start by creating a plane and subdivide it a few times to create more polygons. I think that 5 to 6 times it's okay. Time to add the Displace modifier, so, go to Modifiers tab and select Displace. Click to add a new texture to feed to the modifier. Toggle to switch to Textures tab and here click to open a texture that you have saved to your PC. But where to find a height map of the exact location, right? Open Internet Browser, and go to terrain.party. This site has all we need. Just drag and drop the grid, where your location is and then, zoom as much as the site allows you to get more detail. On the right side, you can increase or decrease the size of the grid, to fit the location. So for me, I decreased at the minimum to fit New York City. Drag and drop to move it to the final position and now, is time to export the height map. Click on the cloud icon, on the right side and type the name you want. Link for this website is in the description. Once it's downloaded, unzip it and go back to Blender. As we said before, click open to select our height map. For me, I found out that the merged one is working perfectly, so select it to open. Go back to the displace modifier and drag mid-level to 1. Next in the list is strength. Start increasing it until you will find the number you are satisfied with. Time to unhide all the other objects in the scene. I am deleting some terrain objects that I created before for video purposes. Move the terrain to the z-axis once the roads and buildings are touching the ground. Seems that the terrain is small. Scale it until the city fits the terrain. Here I will speed the scaling and positioning process since it's boring and after this I will continue by decreasing terrain polygons since it will be really heavy. Select the terrain and go to top view and edit mode. Switch to wireframe view and start selecting all the unnecessary polygons. For me, I did the exact posit thing. So, I selected everything and deselect only the place that my buildings are. Deleting some more that are underwater. Placing back to the center the plane for the ocean and scaling once again to fit the new terrain size. This is the end of the video. I hope this tutorial will help you create any real terrain you like. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.